Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Strategic Mine Blitzkrieg in the Invasion of Norway scenario. So, in the last episode, we knocked out the first three turns, leaving off here on the night turn where we just need to hit the end turn button. And so far, things have been going pretty well compared to my practice run that I did of the scenario. Uh, overall, things have been going much better in every factor with the exception of one. Uh, you know, obviously, I, I took this last. Uh, victory point too slowly here in Denmark because I didn't realize uh, that that's how I got those planes, uh, the you know naval bomber planes and the uh, paratroopers, and I just did that a little bit too slow, and so we are a turn behind when it comes to the use of those planes than I was in my first time through. Uh, but so far everything else is going well, so I feel like uh, overall it's it's uh, it's going good, quite good. Let's see what the AI does on their turn. Of course, they are going to move these uh, ships forward. You notice the hell hole, the hell hole, the shell hole uh, did have its effect there. They did spot, I guess, all of our submarines apparently. So that's not good. Uh, they did uh, attack that one there. Remember, the capital ships cannot attack the submarines, so we don't have to worry about that. But they do have de two destroyers, so I imagine that one of them might come over here and attack that one. I don't know where the other destroyer went. We know we got the one here. He attacked him. Where's the other the one? The British fleet is en route to Narvik. The Englishmen will likely try to wrestle the city from our control. We cannot let Narvik fall into the enemy's hands. The British fleet must be destroyed. Okay, so there's a fleet that comes up here, and this is the reason why I sent a heavy cruiser up here, guys. Because this fleet right here mucked me up pretty bad. Uh, now it's only three destroyers, I think. And I think that's the three ships we have to destroy. And they're escorting a bunch of convoys. And uh, those three destroyers did sink my two destroyers that I had up here. Uh, I was able to sink one of them, but the other two were there. And then not only that, then they started wreaking havoc on my troops up here. And uh, it was just really, really difficult to deal with. And so that's the reason why I sent this capital ship up here. So that we could deal with that damn destroyer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started uh, on uh, the area up here. I think this is the first place we'll start today. Uh, so remember, we can't hit them with anything. Uh, so might as well just go ahead and throw our troops into it, and hopefully he'll destroy them. He did. Our soldiers have captured multiple British Vickers heavy machine guns at the stockpile. They will significantly improve our unit's combat capabilities. If you recall, we got a Vickers machine gun back in that, I think it was the Spanish Civil War uh, episode, or scenario. And those are very, very good. Uh, very good. Noticeably good. Uh, so... It's uh, a good a good thing that we got that. Uh, so we need to figure out where the hell these enemy ships are. We know they're somewhere around here. And I don't know how exactly I want to do this just yet. We could just let them come after us. But as I said, there are a bunch of convoys here that are going to attempt to land. Uh, so I'd like to sink them if we can. Uh, so let's just see how we want to do this. We might just try and locate them. Yeah, I think that would probably be the best way to do this. Is just throw something out here to see if we can't find them. And there they are. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so we have located the transports and all three destroyers. That worked out very well. I didn't even know where to put that. Uh, that was kind of luck, guys. Uh, so you can see that they are all infantry. And there's a total that we can see. Uh, six, six, uh, six current convoys. Uh, destroy the British landing troops. So there's actually 11 total troops. And those are just the ones we can see. Uh, so there's five more. And I think they came with these guys here. Uh, I think actually I think they're up here somewhere. I could be wrong though. Uh, but there is a um, another fleet that comes up here. Uh, so this is uh, a lot of troops uh, that we want to make sure we stop from landing. Uh, so now that we can see them, this actually worked out very very well. Now I don't know if we can take them out. Looks like we won't be able to attack the destroyers unfortunately, but we could wreak havoc on these two transports we cannot shoot at anybody with our secondary gun so with that one we should probably just use it on these guys around here uh, frankly yeah so let's go and fire on the fort and let's see how else we want to do this I don't know if we really need to fire on that guy let's just fire on the fort to try and take that out and then let's go ahead and move forward and do a bit of damage to these guys or sink them actually we'll probably uh, sink both of those there we go beautiful 
So this destroyer would probably be more sacrificial than anything if we just sent him forward. He'd probably get sunk. There, there's really no way to avoid that, I think. Uh, yeah, more than likely he would get sunk. So we'll move all the way forward, or, or we could just move here and just have him. Uh, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to attack if we moved right there. How far does he have to go to attack? He's got to go pretty far if we want him to be able to attack. If he goes here, can he attack both of these guys? He could. Uh, what about this guy? Is there any way he can attack? Probably not. He's too far away. Okay, so this is the way we're going to do it. Let's go to the bare minimum to be able to attack these units and try and get them sunk. Since we cannot fire on the destroyers, unfortunately, they're just too far away. And then with this guy, with his attacks, let's go ahead and fire on that infantry, kind of take out his uh, entrenchment just a little bit. And then let's see how much damage we can do here. Yeah, it's still pretty bad, so let's fire on him again. Could have fired on the fort. Eventually, we will need to use our ships uh, to help out against that fort. Because, I mean, we could do pretty good damage here because he can't attack his back. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. I know that attacking here might result in that fort firing on us. That's okay, we do need to take that area, though. Let's go there, and if he fires on us, he fires on us. It's fine. Let's go and attack the fort. We're going to try and slowly take him down. Uh, and then let's see if we can't destroy this unit and take the city. Oh, there's artillery there. Damn. All right. Uh, but it worked out well. I'm sure that artillery will fire on us on the next turn. That artillery has no health, so as long as he doesn't heal up, we should be able to take him out. Uh, so, yeah, going very well up here. So far, the everything that's going on up here has gone far, far better than it did the first time, and, and a big part of that is because I sent this this capital ship over there. Uh, so yeah, that has gone incredibly well. Quite pleased with that. Uh, we could use these guys to sink the troop convoys that are coming, but I don't feel like it's going to be necessary uh, because I think I think these guys should be able to handle it. I did send a submarine up there in my first playthrough, uh, but I don't think it'll be necessary this time. I really want to just focus on trying to sink these damn capital ships. Uh, of course, they do have the three destroyers here. Uh, we can currently see the battleship that we did all that damage to. We can see the heavy cruiser, but we are missing a battleship, guys. I don't know where it's at. Could be anywhere. All right. Uh, so remember, we're still trying to take out the damn coastal battery. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue with that. Uh, just try and do as much damage as we can. Remember, there's all these damn, uh, you know, I'm not sure how I want to do this just yet. We should probably locate what's here. I suppose that's how we should start this. And let's go ahead and use the aviation recon to do that. And we'll just go down like, we know there's a unit there. Uh, so I'm trying to like do this where we can locate the most amount of units. There we go, that ain't working out just fine. So again, he does have that anti-air there. Luckily he didn't shoot our guy down. Uh, so that's good. All right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and start approaching that way. We haven't quite taken out the objectives here, but I feel like we got that. Uh, as far as like, being able to use our planes over here, we've got to take out the one anti-air unit. Uh, there's also another anti-air unit up here that we have to consider. Uh, before we can do any of that, we have to at least fire on this guy so we can move forward. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire on him with the heavy cruiser. And we might just be able to get him destroyed with this heavy cruiser. That'd be fantastic. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That's exactly what we needed, guys. Alright, so we're just going to want to push forward with him. And then there's still this anti-air over here as well. Okay, so we've got a, a lot of anti-air we got to deal with that we want to be able to make use of our uh, planes over here. Okay, uh, well, let's go ahead and push forward then. Uh, with this, uh, let's see how far he would have to get to be able to, to fire on some of these units here. Doesn't really need to move that much, uh, but yeah, we will have to move a bit. Now, I know that we need our ships over here to take care of these guys, uh, but we don't actually want to move over there just yet, guys. Not yet. All right, so let's fire on him. Remember, we're trying to sink this damn battleship. He's at 20 health right now. So we're going to attack him like so, and then bring the submarine up this way. Uh, and there's the other battleship. Okay, let's get next to him to identify him. And then, okay, there's some convoys as well. Those are some of the troop convoys. Okay, so we got lots of troop convoys, guys. I I'm not going to waste the submarine to attack these. Uh, I would far rather work on trying to get these damn capital ships destroyed, which again are a massive issue for many of our ships. Uh, so I really feel like we should focus 
uh, focus fire on these. Uh, so let's go ahead and move here. Uh, we found more more ships, um, so we need to get a little bit closer. All right, so go ahead and attack him, and then move on up over here. And we did find another heavy cruiser. All right, so this is escorting them. I would assume there's destroyers here escorting them as well. A lot of, as you can see, their navy is larger than ours, guys. Uh, they have a lot more ships, uh, so it's going to be uh, problematic. So we currently have him at at 12 health, but how many shell holes does he have? He has three shell holes, so he'll drop down to about nine health. So it's not good enough, frankly. Uh, we need to work on him a bit more. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here with our submarine. Do a bit more damage to him, and we're going to see if we can't get this battleship sunk. Uh, so he's currently at uh, 8 health with the 4 shell holes. We took him down to 4 uh, four health. Uh, so we won't attack him again. We'll attack him next turn. Let's go ahead and move our submarine out of here. And then we'll move this submarine to start working on the, uh, the other battleship. Go ahead and start taking his health down just a little bit. And then get the hell out of there. All right, so doing a little bit of damage to him. Uh, not prepared yet. We haven't done enough damage here yet, uh, but we do have all of our, our planes that are gonna be able to attack them as well. So we'll see what we can do with the planes. Uh, you know what, I could have probably sunk this guy this turn. I didn't really consider the fact that uh, we also had the planes. Uh, so we will be able to attack him with the planes. Uh, we'll try and stay away from the destroyers and just attack the capital ships. We could also work on just sinking those. Uh, but again, I feel like if, we, if you sink the capital ships, then all these troops mean nothing. Uh, they're at, they mean absolutely nothing because our capital ships will be able to destroy them uh, as will our destroyers uh, so really the key here is just getting the british fleet destroyed once we've done that then we've won the match uh, that's really what it comes down to all right so we know we're going to want to use the naval bombers here and those are the ones with the uh torpedoes i mean they're just called tactical bombers in the game uh, remember or you might not remember uh, but if you watch the last series uh, these guys can attack uh, with the torpedoes next to, they don't have to go over top of them, so they'll just land uh, next to them. In fact, I think if you're using torpedoes, I believe you have to to fire from from next to them. Uh, so yeah, we could fire here. Uh, we really need to focus the fire though, uh, because they do have the anti-air guns that are going to fire on us. Uh, so uh, they have these two and these two, so they can fire quite a bit uh, with those anti-air guns. Uh, so probably best to focus the fire. And if we want to cover these guys from any fighters that might come, then we'd also have to send a fighter over here. Uh, so we should probably take a look at and see if he can reach here and how far he can reach. So we don't want to attack him. Basically, we want to attack around here uh, against one of these guys. Probably the battleship would be the, the smartest one to attack. Uh, let me just take a look here. Now, this guy only has uh, one fire. Uh, so he can only, or two fires, excuse me. Uh, two anti-air fires because he only has the anti-air gun. His secondary cannot fire on planes. Uh, so he might be the best one to attack and then just leave the uh, the battleships for the submarines. Yeah, I think that might be the way we do this. Yeah, I'm glad I saw that because uh, I do think it's the best the best route. Uh, so we want to, to do this in a way where our fighter can support all of the planes around him. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by putting... Trying to see the best way to do this here. Put this guy here. Again, the anti-air will fire on us. Nothing to be done about that. And it does create shell holes as well, guys. Uh, so something to uh, consider. Uh, so let's get the next tactical bomber here. And attack again. That'll be the last one that will be able to, uh, you know, the last attack that will have to face anti-air fire. And then let's get the, the final attack. And they have, he's got several shell holes now. And yeah, we don't have to worry about him attacking us. Uh, so he's at 12 health. With the three shell holes, we took him down to nine health. Uh, so basically two of these capital ships here are on their last legs already. Uh, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our fighter over there to support him. And then we'll fire on him. And it will damage some of his guns, just because. Uh, might as well fire on him. And we'll use that to support those planes. And this is what we've got left over here, guys. Uh, so before we're going to be able to utilize them over here, because there's really nobody to fire on up here. Uh, so before we're going to be able to utilize them, uh, we're going to need to uh, take out these damn into air. Luckily, we've got all these uh, all these capital ships to do it, because we are not going to be going after their fleet just yet. We're going to wait. We need to weaken them. 
If we send the fleet in there right now, they'll take heavy, heavy damage. And there's no guarantee that our battleships will survive. I cannot guarantee that if we go about doing it that way. So it's really not the best way to do it. All right, we still have our battleships with their big old guns. Uh, so we're going to want to make sure that we... Uh, I, I, pretty, I feel pretty confident we should be able to take out all of the anti-air here. Uh, the question is, can we take out the anti-air up there? That I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and move here. And then we're going to make use of these big guns. Uh, though we should probably locate what's over here. Uh, so the first thing we want to do, guys, is move the tank forward. I don't think there's anybody there. We would at least have seen them at this point. Uh, we could also just move here and then fire on that guy. Yeah, I mean, that's what they kind of want us to do. But the better way to do it would be to do it where we're going to get the final kill. Let's just see here. We could do a ton of damage to the anti-air. I think that's what we'll do. We could probably even get, yeah, pretty close to killing him. There we go. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. And then hopefully he'll move here. And then he'll be able to move again and take that airbase, which we can then utilize. According to my intelligence network, Haakon Seventh of Norway has left Oslo with the country's gold reserve in tow. We are currently tracking a convoy of 20 trucks loaded with Norwegian gold. That's 50 tons at the very least. The Reich could benefit from such a financial infusion. The British will likely try to evacuate the king using one of the ports on the western shore of Norway. Monstein, we cannot let that happen. Locate and capture the convoy before it reaches the port. We should avoid using bombs or shelling of any kind. That might damage the gold. I believe the Fuhrer's gratitude towards the unified armed forces will depend directly on the amount of funds recovered. So this is why I avoided... And we will probably go ahead and kill this guy real quick because there's nothing even to fire on. Let's go ahead and kill him. Uh, but yeah, this is why I actually uh, avoided uh, moving over towards this area. Because as soon as you move up towards here, I think it, I don't know the exact uh, way it works. I think it's just if you move within a province of this, or uh, excuse me, a hex within this area. Because I moved right there in my previous one. There's somewhere right here, I think. And then that fired it. And so once that happens, then the, the, the Norwegian king starts moving. And that's the one side objective that I failed last time, guys. I did not capture him. Uh, he just got away. I don't know. I never even saw him. Uh, I, I could have used a, a plane to locate him, but yeah, I never even saw him. And I, that was, uh, you know, why I didn't get the the absolute victory. So this time, I'm not playing around. Uh, I waited to come over here to make sure that we were ready to be able to, to catch him. And so we're going to try and find him. I think it said it was right here, right here. He's somewhere around here. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this. I know that the anti-air there is going to shoot us down. We had to locate him anyway. Luckily, he didn't get shot down. Uh, so now we can see the Norwegian king. And this time, uh, again, I'm not playing. I'm not going to let him get out of here. We're going to use an air transport. Use a paratrooper. Drop right next to him. And then uh, uh, capture him. Now, obviously, we can't do that right now. As you can see, uh, the anti-air here is going to cover him. And so that's why I was waiting. Uh, so that we can try and take out all the anti-air. Uh, this one's still going to fire on us. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to get that done, dealt with. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. If we move up here, can we hit them? One, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, it has to be... You know what? I don't even know if any of these ships can hit them. Okay. A battleship, if it could move there, could hit. Uh, otherwise, we cannot. And because the other battleship is further away, uh, that's not an option, essentially. Okay. Good to know what our options are, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, that's... Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate, guys. So, we're going to have to find another way to deal with that. Probably with our planes, is what I would assume we'd have to, to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and take out uh, the anti-air first. Big gun. And then we'll fire on the artillery. Uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to fire on that guy plenty of times, so I'm not too worried about him. Artillery can fire back, of course. But that's nothing to worry about. And then we're going to try and take out that artillery. And same thing with the anti-air here. There we go. So they're not destroyed. Uh, they have retreated somewhere. Uh, but that's okay. And apparently I can fire on them again. But not a ranged attack. Okay. So uh, we are going to want to move forward with this guy uh, eventually. Uh, I still have to take out that that unit there. I almost called him a division. Uh, with this guy here, let's just go ahead and move... Uh, right here. 
grab that objective. We'll use the recon unit to move right here, I think. Uh, I, I just don't think he'd be able to get over here quick enough. Yeah, probably not. We'll just move the recon unit up this way to go ahead and locate whatever happens to be in this area. And we can always fire on him and not worry about taking any extra damage. All right, so we got that uh, fort down to eight health. So again, we're gonna have to really rely on our, our plane, or excuse me, on our uh, our ships here uh, to get the job done. It's such a bummer we can't reach. Because again, it is the six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, so yeah, it's six. Uh, so the uh, secondary gun, which this guy can reach there with, uh, would only, would, wouldn't be able to reach. Uh, even his uh, primary gun, if I had utilized it, was only five. So there was no way to hit that anti-air, unfortunately. Uh, but we can't go ahead and start uh, firing on the rest of these guys. We need to locate what the hell is here. Um, let's see how the best way to do this would be. See where we can and can't go, essentially. Uh, so this guy's the one who's going to get closest. So we'll go ahead and move him in now. Then we'll have this guy here attack to get rid of this damn unit. All right, beautiful. Let's go and grab control of that. And then we need to land the rest of our troops here, guys. Uh, so let's see the best way to do this. Probably move this guy in here. That's our next recon unit. And we'll move as, as far as we can. And uh, we have located them, so that's good. Uh, we'll better get those destroyed now. And let's see what else we want to move. We're going to obviously bring our, our uh, artillery forward. And we could always fire on them again if we wanted to, using that ability. We'll see if that's uh, called for or not. That's a, a good option. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving the rest of the troops in. Uh, well, you know what? If we have a tank, let's move him in first. Although, yeah, he's not really in place to do that yet. We have to get a little bit closer. Uh, so let's go ahead and move the infantry in. And we won't worry about moving him just yet. Let's get like fast units in here first. So they can actually maybe push forward and help out. Uh, doesn't look like they'll be able to attack these guys for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, we can't attack him from here. Let's just push forward. Uh, again, can't attack anybody, but that's okay. We'll be able to do it next turn. Let's go ahead and have... Uh, okay, so this is a destroyer. We're going to just move him up close. Take out those units, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way, guys. Move them in here, fire on whoever, doesn't matter. Just get these guys destroyed, the anti-air and the artillery. All right, beautiful. So again, still one artillery unit left that needs to get dealt with. Now uh, we do have this guy here, he'll be able to fire on him and him. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see what else we got available here. We have another destroyer. Uh, they'll be able to come over here and help us out. Uh, the battleship can only go so far, so we should probably use him against that unit. Uh, however, I don't know. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we could fire on him with all of our shots if we wanted to. Uh, so let's just see the best way to do this. We have to take out this guy here. So let's fire on him once. Yeah, I can't hit anything without having to move pretty far forward. I don't really have much desire uh, of going that far forward. I think it would be too risky. Yeah, I mean, we could move right here and then start attacking uh, the heavy cruiser. Uh, but again, I just feel like we should wait. Let's be patient. Let's not get crazy with it. Uh, I mean, if we moved, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I suppose we could move here and then fire on them. I guess that's not too risky. It's not really moving that far. And you know what? We really don't need them over here. But I'm I'm worried about putting our... Uh, our battleship in that position because then they can move forward and start firing on us but you know what I think only a couple units would be able to get down here in time I mean it's an option uh, so you know what let's do that I'm gonna risk it again I said I wasn't going to but I am <laughs> this guy can't fire on us right now and we can do significant damage to him and perhaps even make it so he sinks this coming up turn here so it just feels like worth it it does mean that we can't fire with our secondary gun that's a shame yeah i missed i didn't plan that well okay uh is what it is what we could do is uh, shoot a torpedo off from here and this would be essentially like sacrificing the destroyer uh it'd be one option uh, to kind of sacrifice a destroyer or whatever to try and uh, ensure that we don't we don't lose the battleship here 
because uh, that's always risky. That's certainly a risk. Uh, and then we could, just, you know, just shoot a torpedo off real quick. Uh, although he would probably fire on us now that I think about it. I think he probably still has, yeah, he still has uses uh, left. So yeah, he'd fire on us. He only has five health left after the shell holes, so it's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep one destroyer here to cover the battleship. And we're probably going to move him forward just a little bit. Maybe they'll shoot on him instead. And we'll shoot at the fort as well. Just cuts. And then this guy here, um, well, you know, he might as well stay here, man. Uh, you know, we even put him forward a little bit. Again, to just kind of make him as a, a target that would hopefully be fired on instead of the battleship. Well, this is really risky. I didn't do it this way last time, so I'm hoping I don't uh, regret this. Uh, hopefully this doesn't end up being a mistake. So because we were able to fire on him a bit, and he uh, has some problems now, as you can see with the previous attacks, uh, because of that, his defenses were lower, and that allowed us to actually do damage with those secondary attacks, those second attacks that we did with the uh, the other destroyer. Uh, so with this guy here, we are going to move over this way to try and get them taken out, because I think that's all we have. Yeah, we had the two shots here. And then the two shots from this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take that back. We have a destroyer right here. Uh, and he could fire on him. Uh, so let's go move forward with him and start firing. Try and take down that entrenchment a bit. Do a little bit of damage to him, all that good stuff. All right. Um, and then the other destroyer. Uh, we still have the attack with this guy. Uh, so it would be an option to fire on him, and I think we will. And you know what? We're going to actually move forward a little bit. Just so that destroyer is covering us. And then we're going to move this destroyer here, and he will fire on this guy as well. And he should be pretty weak. Uh, maybe even weak enough where we could take him out with this uh, tank if we wanted to. Just looking for other units might be able to do it a little bit easier. It looks like it would be the, the best way would be to do it with this infantry unit. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Take him out. And take the port. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so let's go to move the tank in. Alright, so see how the uh, best way to go about doing this would be? Probably just move him up here for now. And then we still have the other tank that needs to move as, as well. And I don't think we're going to need a tank to go up this way, honestly, because these guys are going to be really easy to take out as our, our capital ships move up north. Uh, so I'm not really worried about the uh, any, any units that are on the coast. Uh, they all should be pretty easy to deal with. Uh, we still have troops that are coming across uh, the sea, by the way. Uh, so let's go and get them moving in. I should have used this guy to fire on them. Yeah, that's too late now. Would end up being the same results, of course, but yeah, there would have been some advantages to doing so. Uh, so remember, we still need to take that objective. We decided we we're going to do it with the anti-air. Uh, that's not really the best way to do this, but uh, you know, that's what we got, guys. That's what we got. I could use this infantry instead, uh, but this is our paratroopers, which I had other you know desires for them. So we want to put them onto the, uh, we're going to put them into the air and bark them onto airplane. And hopefully nobody shoots them down. So we'll move them right there. And so, yeah, we're just going to have to use this guy. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to use an artillery for it. That wouldn't be the best way to do this. So, yeah, we're just going to take the anti air and send him over here. Eh, that's not really what I wanted to do. But, again, it is what it is, man. I just had forgotten. I forgot all about it, guys. And he can even land. Excellent. Alright, so I don't know if any other units are over here. Yes, we do still have the infantry here that needs to get into the port. And embark. Alright, lovely. Uh, so he could probably just land here and then take off and see how far he can get. He's probably not going to go anyway, though. We'll see, though. We'll see how far. Uh, so he refuels, and then we'll see if he can attack anything. That's a negative. Alright, uh, well, let's just go here. If any planes came around, you know, we'd be able to attack him with our destroyers. So we still have to take that guy out. Uh, I, I think the only way to deal with this is going to be with that fighter, guys. Is to use that ability with the fighter to still be able to attack to get the... Uh, yeah, because remember, I want to line the, par the paratrooper there. And nobody else is going to be able to do this. Well, unless we did an airstrike. Uh, I don't know how effective an airstrike on an anti-air would be, though. Uh, but it might remove his ability to fire on us. I don't know. I hope so. But this would be also be all of our airstrike ability. There's not really anything else to do with the points this turn, I suppose. Except for the, yeah, even the artillery can't fire again. There's nobody to fire on. So why not? Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's just, uh, we'll just bomb these guys. And hopefully it goes well. The way we'll do it is we'll bomb it down like that. 
and then I'm hoping that will remove his ability. Let's see here. Yes, it did remove his Overwatch ability. Excellent. That's exactly what we needed to have happen. So that now we can move one of these paratroopers over here to seize control of the king. And you have to do a melee attack. If you did like, uh, if we had bombed them with the ships and destroyed them, uh, then we wouldn't be able to capture them. It has to be a melee attack with a land unit. That's the only way to do this, guys. We have captured Hakon 7's convoy. Excellent. The Norwegians are penniless and beheaded. And so just like that, we've gotten the win. Uh, with the, uh, uh, that side objective, which again is the only side objective I failed last time, so uh, I feel like we've got the win now. So with these guys, last time I landed up, um, up here to start working on taking this, so while some troops came up this way to take the objectives, the rest came over here. Uh, I don't think there's any anti-air there. I feel like we can safely go there. Uh, I don't know about up here, though. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make use of, I don't even know if they can go, in fact, but we'll try. Uh, we're gonna bring this guy out and then see if he can if he can locate anything over here See if there's any uh, anti-air that we need to worry about and Looks like there was Yeah, it's, it seems there was anti-air because I think he just got shot down Because <laughs> uh, he's not there no more All right, uh, what about the other battleship that we got over here? Maybe we'll try again Yeah, there's anti-air uh, somewhere over here uh, I'm guessing it's... Oh, wait a minute. There it is right there. There's the anti-aircraft gun. All right, so we don't want to land right there. Uh, that would not be uh, good to try and send them out over there again. Uh, we don't know what that unit is, so I guess we'll go locate that real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go and do that. Make sure this is not an anti-air. Oops, my bad. Make sure that's not an anti-air there. No, it's infantry. Uh, so one thing somebody told me, and the reason why I don't use these guys as much is because they get shot down when they're just sitting here. An anti-air unit or a fighter will take them out real easily. Uh, which can be good because it distracts the anti-air of the fighter. Uh, especially if it's a fighter unit, it distracts them. Uh, but it does all cost you up here. You know what I mean? Uh, or I should say on your, your victory points here. Uh, you know, it costs you the prestige. And, and yeah, we don't, we don't want to lose that unit uh, for that. Uh, but I didn't know that apparently you can just do this and then they just disappear. Uh, they fly to the nearest airfield. I had no idea you could do that. Uh, so thank you for that tip. That's really helpful. All right. Uh, so we still have the paratroopers. We now know where they can go and where they can't go. Uh, so let's go ahead and move them. Uh, so we could land over here somewhere. We don't actually know what that is. That could be anything. Oh Lord. Well, I would think that he would have shot down. Well, maybe not. He might not have. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I want to say it's a fort, though. I feel that that's a fort. Uh, so we're just going to gamble that it is. And we're going to move the paratroopers up here. Uh, so see how the best way to do this is. Uh, we, we need to seize control of that flag if we want to get all the flags. Uh, it's going to be required. Uh, these troops here can, can take control of that, so that's not a worry. Uh, really, it's just these flags right here that we're gonna need to seize control of. Here is just too close to their capital ships for right now, so it wouldn't be wise to, to land there. Instead, we should probably just go here and then go ahead and land there and just hope the infantry can't attack us. Uh, we don't wanna attack just yet. I just wanted to get them over here. We'll wait a little bit before we actually do the attack. Uh, though we might be able to do an attack from far away. Yeah, we can with this guy. Let's go ahead and attack him. That'll bring down his entrenchment. And then we're gonna bring, uh, I think we have Nope, just one more paratrooper. That's right, we have another one, but he's not over here. Uh, and then we're going to land him as well. Okay. Uh, so we now have a dime bomber uh, that we can move anywhere. We could go after trying to take out that anti-air unit. Could just attack here. I think we're far enough away that he wouldn't be able to uh, assist. And so, yeah, I think we'll... Well, you know what? We don't need to do that because I think we have... I want to say we still have the ability to fire with somebody, don't we? Maybe not. Maybe I did fire with all of them. Okay, never mind. We take that back. We fired. Well, let's go ahead and send him here then. Try and take out that uh, that that infantry unit. All right, and then we'll bring the fighter as well to support him. And then we have one fighter left. And I don't think there's any planes that need to be covered, with the exception of our one paratrooper unit. So that will be the unit 
that we cover. Uh, we could leave them there because I don't think anybody. I don't think there's going to be any planes coming over here. I'd be really surprised if we see any planes come over this way. So we could just go after the damn uh, fort, and try and take that out. Uh, you know what? That's what we'll do. We'll attack the fort, and we could probably even land. Yeah, we can. Okay, so that worked out quite well. Okay. Though we didn't get anything here, probably because there's there's a supply issue here. That is what I would assume. I'm looking to click on, not the rail station, probably here. Yeah, you can see that the supply network isn't quite connected here. We need to get, yeah, maybe it just will take a little bit of time. Maybe it'll, it'll start next, next turn. Uh, so let's see what units haven't moved yet. So we still have this unit that can move. Uh, all right, we'll put them in there, doesn't really matter. See if there's anybody else though. Uh, of course, we have the uh, the infantry here, the paratrooper. I don't think he has the ability to attack from far. Nah, he's he doesn't. Okay. Now uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, he can attack from far. But of course, uh, we're not close enough. We'd have to switch places with that guy. Uh, so let's see who else is uh, still needing to move. Okay, we still have the situation up here, but you know what? I don't think we're gonna move any further. I think we're pretty much good there for right now. Let's just see what else we need to do. I think I think that's everybody, honestly, guys. Oh, wait a minute. There's a dive bomber here. I thought we had more planes. I was like, where the hell is that other plane? So we have one more dive bomber uh, that we could use to attack right here. Uh, could also just attack there, but I don't know if we'd have enough. We'd probably be able to do this. Yeah, we could take out that fortification and get rid of that. I suppose that'd be pretty useful to do. Yeah, let's get rid of that damn fortification. There we go. Beautiful. And then he can land. I was a little bit worried about him being up there without uh, a fighter escort, but yeah, you can just land right there. All right, so that's everybody except for the train. Of course, the train's just gonna be sitting here. He's got nothing to do. All right, so I think we can go and safely end our turn. See what the AI does. Uh, so artillery's gonna fire on that paratrooper we dropped. That's all right. Fort's firing on the infantry. Did a little bit of damage there. Uh, he's gone back across the river. For whatever reason, the artillery did not fire on the infantry. Now they're not done yet. They are gonna fire on our planes there, as you'd expect. And remember, those are the secondary guns that they are using. Uh, so they could use those attack ships, and they're not, uh, if they had pushed forward. But they're really set on going up north. And they did spot those submarines, by the way, but I don't know if they'll have anybody to attack. He is pushing forward with the cruiser, and the battleships farm far, far away. So they might sink a destroyer. That's a good trade-off, I suppose. But again, if we had not pushed, I think they just sunk a, a destroyer. I think if, uh, you know, if we hadn't moved forward at all, if we would have pulled completely back as I, I as I did last time, we wouldn't have lost that destroyer. So that's unfortunate. Let's let all these guys move forward here. Now the destroyers are going to come forward here and they get the first shots on us. You know, we got to sink some of their convoys, but uh, I do expect to lose another destroyer up here, guys. Unless they focus entirely on... Now they'll fire on the destroyer because they know what it is. I hate that when they first fire on you, they, you fire your torpedoes. Not great. Now they might fire the torpedo on the other guy on the capital ship, but they do that. Which I expect they might. And we'll be able to fire back on them. But still, our capital ship got hit with a torpedo, so we'll see what they do. Yeah, that destroyer, I didn't expect them to focus fire on him, but that's all right. We're going to lose some destroyers, guys. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Uh, again, we lost a destroyer here, uh, but we kind of sacrificed him. Uh, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, so now we need to find these damn capital ships. There's the heavy cruiser. Here's the other heavy cruiser, which we should be able to sink this turn. Uh, but where are the two battleships? We don't know where those are at, so that's not good. We need to locate them. All right, uh, so can how far can these guys go? Will they be able to attack the battleships? They will. Uh, so we need to figure out where the hell these damn battleships are. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how the best way to do it would be if we want to use, might just use our plane here, I suppose. And let's see if he can't find them. Uh, I, I just don't know where he would have went though. Maybe right around here somewhere? I suppose that's what we'll do. There he is. There's both of them. So we have located them. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that is excellent. So there's the King George battleship with only six health left. And there's the, uh, uh, well, they're both King George battleships. But uh, yeah, those, uh, those are the two battleships we need to sink. 
Very, very good. Uh, so this guy's only got six health left. I'm a plus two shell holes still. That need to be, uh, that will deal damage to it, so. I, I definitely feel like we'll get that one sunk this turn without even having to engage it with our own battleships. Uh, so with that knowledge, what we could do is use our battleship, you know, move our battleship forward here if we wanted to and attack him, because we now have the ability to do that, uh, I think. We are the, no, we're the heavy cruiser. We need the battleship. So yeah, we could do this with the battleship and attack that, but it's not worth it, guys. It's absolutely not worth it. It's time to move the capital ships away. Uh, though we want to be able to attack something with our ships and yeah there's not a lot to attack here guys not much without having to move uh, but it is what it is uh, so what we'll do is just use what we got uh, against these guys here uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything we can attack over here without having to move no absolutely not all right, uh, well, let's just go ahead and uh, deal with that guy then. It force him to retreat, and we'll just use a regular gun to take him out. Get that experience for the battleship. And then let's get the hell out of here. Start pushing forward to go deal with the, uh, the Navy. Uh, so same thing with the, the heavy cruiser. There's really no reason to, to be here anymore. It's time to leave. Uh, so let's go and start pushing forward. Uh, the destroyer, I don't know that we necessarily have to move him for move him, uh, but there's nothing else to attack. So again, just time to go, guys. Uh, so let's get all the destroyers out of here, all the ships, I should say, and we'll move them as quickly as we can. We got support here, so that's good. All right. Uh, so this is all going to be up to the land and air force now to deal with these kind of inland units. Uh, let's go and start up on the north. Uh, I should have really started here. Uh, I really want to see what we can do. Uh, here, I'd like to really save this destroyer as well. Uh, so we're gonna focus, of course, focus our fire here on these uh, on these destroyers. But what we want to do is get far enough away that we don't have to worry about their their damn torpedoes attacking us. Because uh, yeah, we don't we don't want to be attacked by the torpedoes. Uh, so let's move here. And it's always better to attack with the capital ships anyway here against these guys uh, because their guns don't do as much damage. Uh, they don't they can't damage the hole. They don't have the armor piercing. So they can only damage our parts. So yeah, we'll just try and, uh, I'm, I'm using the other guns and that's fine. All right, so did a little bit of damage to him. So I'm with the bigger guns now. And let's see how the best way to go about doing this is. Might not want to use all of our uh, guns, all of our big gun on that one. Let's use one on him. Let him use up one of his fires. And uh, you can kind of see that our anti-air took pretty heavy hits there, but overall, not too shabby, guys. So this guy is so damaged that he wouldn't be able to do anything with the exception of attacking a, a highly damaged destroyer. Uh, it looks like, in fact, uh, we can't even move uh, because our engine is so damaged. Uh, so what we need to do is make use of the emergency repair, which we can use one time, and we'll have to repair the engine so that we can get the hell out of here. Uh, so what we should do is fire once on this this destroyer. We could even fire twice on him, I suppose. Uh, but I'd really like to make sure that that guy doesn't land, which he will land. Uh, so we could also use the torpedoes to take him out, though. I guess that's an option as well. Yeah, I suppose we can fire on him with the torpedoes. I don't know how much damage they would do if it would be enough. Nah, it's not enough. It's not even remotely close to enough. Uh, and, and part of that is probably because they're damaged. Yeah, I think it's because they're damaged. All right, so let's fire on the destroyer. I suppose we'll just focus our fire. Try and get these damn destroyers sunk. And then just kind of move over here now. And use that torpedo on uh, this guy here. Alright, so I got him a shell hole. Uh, so we can attack with the uh, torpedo against him, which we will. Because torpedoes don't do very good against destroyers. Uh, and we could get him destroyed, but he has you know, two health. He's not really much of a threat at this point. Uh, so again, let's go ahead and focus fire. And you know, this guy's pretty damaged. Uh, so he's, yeah, he's just not in a good place. Uh, so him firing on any of our ships, with the exception of this one, would result in his own destruction. Uh, so instead, let's fire on this guy here. He only has one fire left. And then we'll have a free shot on him as well. There we go. So that does result in, in, in both of their, uh, their ships being 
quite damaged. Let's go this way now. Uh, and then just, just that third destroyer that's, you know, still got a lot of health. But I do feel confident we'll be able to get him taken out. Uh, maybe the next turn, actually. So now we need to deal with this damn fortification, guys. It's got to get dealt with. But uh, I also want to deal with the damn uh, artillery. I don't like that being there. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Let's send the infantry here. Take out that guy. And then send him across the river to take out that guy. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, still more units over that way. Uh, somebody needs to take out this fortification so we can continue firing on him for now. We'll get more units coming over this way. And somebody needs to stay here anyway. We don't want to lose that. Okay, we really want to take control of that airbase as well. That'd be super helpful to have. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting these ships destroyed. We located the, the main capital ships, the two battleships that we really need to get destroyed. Uh, these are the three that have to... Well, that's, that's those ones. We want to look at the battleship. So it's uh, that one needs to be destroyed. That's the heavy cruiser. And then that battleship and that battleship. So the other heavy cruiser, I guess, doesn't have to be destroyed to you know complete all the secondary objectives. But again, we do have to destroy all the units if we want to get that one bonus. So just something to, to think about, guys. Uh, there's no anti-air over, anti over here. We know that. So nothing to worry about that. Uh, we will be able to use our planes over here you know, as we see fit. Let's go ahead and start with the submarines uh, and see how the best way to go about doing this is. I feel like we'll be able to take out that guy with our ships. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's instead go after these guys then. Uh, figure out the best way to go about doing this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue working on... We're going to use this submarine to, to continue shadowing these guys. And, and he'll just focus on starting to work on this ship here. And then we'll see where they end up going. Uh, first we gotta shoot our torpedo off, obviously. We only have two torpedoes left for this submarine, so something to consider. And then we're just gonna go like right here and just see if we can't figure out where they're going. Just kinda watch them. Uh, they're not gonna be able to stop them from landing, guys. They're gonna land some troops. It's, it's the way it is. Alright, so let's go and attack this guy. Kinda get that entrenchment down a bit. And then same thing here. Uh, again, just keep on attacking him. I'm trying to stay off of the coast because, uh, I mean, we might not even be able to stop him from being able to attack us. Uh, he most likely will come in here and, and bombard us a little bit. You know, nothing to be done about it, guys. So that fort has been dealt with. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this victory point here. There is one infantry that needs to get dealt with there. Uh, we could attack with, with uh, the recon unit if need be. Uh, but I prefer to just probably take him out with the infantry. I think that's the best way to go. And instead attack the uh, fortification here. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do this. All right. So now we want to start pushing forward towards the uh, objectives up along here. Uh, well, you know what? Let's deal with the Navy shit first. Yeah, let's, let's do with the, the Navy. Uh, so this guy's just about sunk, but he's not quite there yet. Uh, so how do we want to do this? Could bring this guy forward. Obviously, I think uh, we could probably take out that heavy cruiser with our other ships. Uh, this heavy cruiser could probably attack him. Maybe. Oh, it looks like he's just not close enough. Damn. So he, this is... Did we already move him? Oh, we already moved him. Okay. I, I'm a dummy. We had already moved all these ships. Got it. So maybe we won't be able to take out that guy then. Um, with just these attacks. Maybe. It's a possibility. Again, we're going to avoid attacking the battleship with our own battleship. It just does too much damage to us. Hmm. I think we should be able to take him out with these two ships here, guys. So that means the submarine can instead focus fire on these ships. And we will attack that guy right there. And he should be pretty damn close to being sunk. In fact, he'll probably sink this coming up turn here, maybe. Uh, he'll be pretty close to sinking. We'll move him there. And then let's use this submarine against this battleship. All right, fantastic. Uh, so we could just straight up take out one of the battleships. It might be the best way to go. Uh, try and get him taken out. Can we attack him? We can attack him. Okay, maybe we'll do that then. Yeah, let's get this battleship weakened. He's too strong. All right, and then we'll kind of move him away. All right, excellent. Uh, so we still have our planes uh, that can attack. Uh, so let's see the best way to do this. I feel like these guys will be able to take him out, uh, so let's start with that. Now this 
will not do damage to, the, to anything but a, a ship part. Uh, so instead, let's just attack with our main guns. So we can try and do a little bit of damage to the hole. They're going to fire with their secondary guns first, because that's why they, they do it. I don't, I don't know why they do it that way. It really sucks when you're on the defense. That's why you kind of want to be on the offensive at all possible. Uh, so this damage here would result in him firing his main guns on us, which would damage our hole. In addition, uh, these would likely only do, because I think they have an armored hole, the heavy cruisers, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check here. The armored deck? Let's take a look. That'd be good to know. Uh, if I, I think they do. Yeah, heavy cruisers do have the armored deck. So that means we'd only damage ship parts, which does have its usefulness, uh, but... Uh, in this case, it doesn't, because the anti-air, the only thing we really have to worry about, has already been taken out. Uh, we can take a look at these ships, the battleships, and you can see the ship parts, because we've only been uh, attacking them with submarines. Uh, the ship parts are still good. Uh, so, let's go ahead and, I think we're just going to fire a torpedo off of that guy and just take it, man. Just take the hit, I suppose. I don't want to get too close to any of these guys, though, so there is that risk. Uh, but let's get up nice and close to him and attack him with the torpedo and just take the hit. I think we might be able to sink him. Yeah, there we go, beautiful. Okay, and then we still have the secondary guns, which we could move up close to attack the destroyer to start getting rid of them. Of course, these battleships are a threat though, so uh, we don't want to move our battleship forward uh, all, on all on his lonesome like that. That would be stupid. Uh, so let's see how the best way to go about doing this is. I already moved all the ships over there, okay. Uh, let's start with the uh, with the bombers and see how the best way to go about doing this would be. All right, so we'll move the guy that's farthest away. Damn, that guy took a lot of damage. He needs to go back and heal, frankly. All right, so let's go and attack here. He will fire on us with his anti-air. That's fine. And we destroyed the battleship. I wasn't expecting that. Not at all, guys. That worked out very well. Lovely. Very pleased with the results to that. Go and attack him. And there we go, beautiful. Yeah, this is, that went very well. Okay, um, so we'll just move the, the fighter over here to attack. Uh, he'll just have to take the damage, I suppose. He is running a little bit low on fuel. Uh, but that does mean that we wouldn't be able to, no, 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 we can do it. Let's move here. Yeah, damage is secondary gun, just so, we'll, you know, it's damage for the next turn. There we go. So these guys are all covered. And then he's gotta go back and he's gotta repair. It just took too much damage. All right, so he's repaired up. He's uh, got his ammunition back, and we are good to go. So he'll be attack in the next turn. All right, uh, so I think that's all the ships, right? I'm not mistaken. I believe we've used all of the, the naval uh, units. Uh, looks like we... Oh, yes, the battleship still has two attacks left. And yeah, I don't think it would be good to attempt to attack him there. We could attack this guy. The battleship would fire on us if he did. So probably not the best way to do that. Could also come over here and attack him. But again, that does put our battleship at risk. I'm just not willing to risk the battleship, man. For anything. He's just too, uh... Yeah, we, he's too important to the, to the mission. So no, guys, let's just put him here. That's fine. We don't have to use all the damn attacks. All right, uh, so I think all the submarines are actually done moving. Uh, we could still move a little bit, uh, but you know it's you know actually we probably should move a little bit away, uh, just because you know obviously these guys are uh, they're deep. Uh, so move them over here, and we just don't want to be attacked by destroyers if we can avoid it. All right, so all of our ships have moved. Uh, we now have to get that dis that uh, damn anti-air units uh, dealt with. So we could move forward here with the recon units. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's start moving forward here. We know there's an uh, artillery unit over there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to want to start firing on him with the uh, the tank. Uh, let's take a look and see which which tank this is. Okay, so this is a Panzer 4D. That's got that good uh, soft attack. And he also has, what is he? Uh, he's the recon one. Okay, so we probably want to move the recon one up that way. Let's just take a look and see which ones are which. Uh, so, okay, that's that one. And that's this guy. Okay, so this guy's gonna move here. 
He's going to do that very heavy damage. Uh, the artillery is going to support, so that's a shame. Uh, but we did get a level up, and we didn't take any damage from that. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and level up. Uh, we're going to get... Let's see what we got. We got the Swift Strike already, so that's probably the reason why we didn't take any damage from that artillery. Uh, so that's very good. Uh, so we could get the 1 plus move points. Uh, enemy unit surrender with one strength left instead of zero. Seal the deal. Okay, that's that one. Uh, I, I think we're going to get the close quarters one. Uh, we could also do the night attack. That'd be pretty helpful as well. Uh, but because this is a uh, a tank that is specialized on attacking soft units, I think it most, makes the most sense to get the street fighter. Uh, so let's do that. So we got the street fighter, and now we don't have to worry so much, as much as usual, uh, of infantry getting those close defense attacks on us. All right, so we did decide this guy's going up this way, so he's probably going to start with an attack against those guys. Uh, and we're going to move this guy up that way as well. Let me take a look at this one here and see what we want to do with him. So he's a, a recon unit as well. I did forget that this guy was a recon unit. So we could just straight up take out the uh, uh, the anti-air unit. Uh, that'd be a fine option, I think. Yeah, let's just go up there and just get rid of this damn anti-air unit. And we'll be able to fire again on the infantry after we do that. So we'll fire on the infantry, and then we'll just probably move in to the city. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so we still have to attack this unit here, but that's an infantry unit. The artillery would support, so we're probably going to try and take out that damn artillery unit now that we have the anti-air dealt with. So we have two bombers, uh, and this one's one of them. We actually have another bomber somewhere too, don't we? And, and we also still have our paratrooper that we got to figure out where we're going to put him as well. Uh, these guys have all attacked. Yeah, they've all attacked. All right, so yeah, we got to drop the paratrooper somewhere. Uh, somewhere where it'll be advantageous. We won't be able to go up this way. There's too much into air. I suppose we can drop right there. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we'll drop them is right along here since it's going to take a little while for this infantry to get up there. That's where we'll drop them. Yeah, I think that'd be the best location. And we can't see the anti-air, so I don't really remember where he... We'd have to make sure we really watch out where we put him. Two, three, four. I think we'd be good here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move him there now while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because there's just nowhere else. I mean, we could drop him here to try and take out the artillery. I, I suppose that would be a, a decent option as well, uh, just to get rid of that. Uh, but you know what? We're going to have enough units coming up this way. I'm, I'm a little bit worried whether we'll get all this done uh, quick enough. Uh, so let's move here and drop. Uh, though we did get attacked by that, so that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't have moved there. Uh, I should have just moved right there. Ah, whatever. Nothing to do about it now, guys. All right. Uh, so we do want to also make sure we grab this before I forget about that shit. Uh, so we'll grab that. Uh, we still have this infantry here that can push forward. I'm not sure where we're going to land him just yet. He is the unit that can land anywhere. So technically, we could bring him up here and land somewhere up around here. We can move him over here and have him land that way. Of course, that risks uh, the, the British Navy. Uh, but at that point, we might actually have the British Navy destroyed. I don't think there's anybody else, any other units here. No, I believe we've already taken care of all. Uh, so, uh, we have three bombers, I believe. So we have this guy here, which is clearly going to go attack the artillery. This guy here, and then this guy here. Okay. Uh, and we can use them to attack, uh, the, the battleship, which I think we might end up doing. Like with the armor-piercing bombs. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do, guys. We really need to get this damn battleship taken out. And then we'll focus fire on the uh, secondary gun. He'll go there. Do a little bombing. Get a level up too, apparently. Alright, excellent. So did a negative one to the hole, negative one to the secondary gun. And uh, yeah, let's go and level him up now. And see what we want to get him. Uh, so he doesn't have anything yet. Uh, so there's the altitude. Uh, that's an ability that you can use. Vulnerability for attacking the tanks. Fuel economy. A tactical retreat is always super helpful to get away from anti-air and stuff. Not as useful as it was in uh, the Pacific game, where you had to get away from those damn planes. Or, excuse me, we had to get away from those ships and all their, their terrible anti-air. I think we're going to do all weather, so we can ignore the weather penalties. I think that might be a, a good option here for us. Uh, we could also do the fuel economy, too, so we can stay out longer. Uh, you know what? Let's do the all weather. Let's level up. All right, so we'll perform better when it's raining. All right, so with this bomber, if we want to give him any support, we'd have to attack, like, right there, which we do need to attack there. So, yeah, let's go and attack there. 
Uh, fortunately, we haven't identified him yet. And then we're going to use this guy here against the artillery. And then we'll figure out where we want to use our fighter based on how this goes. All right. Uh, so I'd like to attack with this infantry unit here to try and start working on them. Uh, so let's just try and get the artillery taken out. Uh, so the way we'll do this is move him here and then move the fighter in here. And didn't quite destroy him, but that's okay. All right, we can now see that infantry as well. Okay, so let's see if we can't get him destroyed, though we should probably see if artillery or something could reach there. Probably not, but... Uh... Oh yes, we had these guys too that we gotta get taken out. All right, well, whatever. Let's just go here, attack. Uh, let me see if those artillery can can move, you know, far enough to attack them. Probably not. No, no, not yet. They're probably gonna have to get in the trucks, actually. Yeah, to try and get them up close enough, because yeah, this is gonna take them forever otherwise. But we can at least fire with the infantry. There is a, a tank somewhere that comes down here, so that's the reason why I got this guy to take him out. To take him out, take that tank out. Uh, this guy does not have any trucks, so it's gonna be slow going for him. Slow going. We want to move an infantry up this way. Uh, we could probably move him there and he'll be safe, I think. Let's go and move him there. Uh, and then the artillery, again, they, they're going to have to go in the trucks. Uh, but let's just see if there's any other like useful units that might be able to move forward and do some attacks. Probably not. I think all the all the, the artillery is going to have to go in trucks. I don't think there's any way around that. Yeah, that's the way it appears. All right, so let's go and push forward with the infantry here and then just get all the... Uh, the artillery moving in the trucks behind the tanks is the plan here. And then I should have moved one across the river here, so let's go ahead and do that. And this guy can go right here, I suppose. And is that everybody? I feel like no. Yeah, we still have this attack here. Do a little bit of damage there. All right, excellent. So let's go just go through our units. Oh, well, we know we have this fighter here that hasn't moved yet. That's right. Uh, so could provide support there. I don't know if there's going to be any planes around here that are going to need to, uh, they're going to need that support. Could just attack one of these guys. Uh, they do have the anti-air there, so don't want to go that way. In fact, I don't think we want to go anywhere around here. Could just attack that. Yeah, I don't really want to put a fighter in that position up there, honestly. Could go ahead and start working on that one. Or that guy. Any of these would really be okay options, I suppose. Just looking for the best one. And as tempted as I am to attack these, we won't. We won't do that. I think it'd be too risky putting our fighter out like that. Let's just attack this infantry unit, guys. And then we'll move over here. Maybe we'll catch any fighters that happen to maybe try and attack our artillery here. Alright, so I, I want to say, that's all the units. There might be one that I missed somewhere. We'll just kind of... See if we can find him. Right, so this guy's good to go. Could do the smoke grenade. Why not? We'll do the smoke grenade. I have better defense. Lower attack, of course. Uh, that guy can move forward, I suppose. There's really no reason not to move him forward. We've already gotten that. Of course, this guy's here trying to take out the, uh, the fort there. Yeah, looks like everybody has moved. Uh, so... That is time, guys. We only got through two turns. Uh, a lot of units to be moved, a lot of things happening. Uh, but yeah, that is actually, unfortunately, the end of the episode. So the next episode, I don't know when that's going to be out. Um, you know, here, this this one's for Tuesday. I'm recording it on Tuesday morning before I go to bed. And so I don't know when I'm going to have time to record this again because I still have to record EU4 for the next, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I still got to keep recording EU4 for every day. Uh, so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when the next episode will be. Maybe we'll shoot for like Friday or Saturday, really. That's probably when it's going to be, unfortunately. Yeah, it, it's just, it is what it is, guys. We're recording. We have four series going right now, so. I'll come back uh, on Friday or Saturday, whenever I can get a video out. I don't want to put any actual days on it, because I don't know. Uh, but essentially, as soon as I can, I will record a video. As soon as I get time. Maybe I can just squeeze something in someday. And then we'll uh, continue on. Again, goal here is to get these... Uh, these destroyers sunk as quickly as we can so we can focus our ships and now we probably will lose this destroyer I would be really surprised if we don't lose that one but we should hold out on these two uh, so that should work out nicely these troops uh, just gotta get that fort destroyed uh, we also have to make sure that these uh, all of their transports are destroyed so they don't take this back here because that fails the secondary objective I think it does say you have to hold on to that if I'm not mistaken 
I could have swore it said that when we got it. Yeah, here it is right here. Hold the seaport. So you have to hold that province. So we can't let them have that. Uh, so that's that's something to consider, guys. Uh, that we don't want to... Uh, can't lose that. So we have to destroy this guy as well. And we're going to keep pushing down here. Attacking from this direction. Uh, while these troops continue their attack up north. we got a lot of turns left. I feel pretty good about this. Uh, here, you know, again, this is largely going to be won by the Navy. Uh, as they sell north, they will uh, attack any, any troops on the coast and take care of those for us. I feel very good about our situation with the British Navy. They still have one battleship left. We sunk a heavy cruiser and their other battleship. Uh, we know they have a heavy cruiser here, uh, and there's at least a carrier that's going to be coming. That's an event uh, where another a carrier comes, and I think there might be another heavy cruiser somewhere too. I could be wrong about that, but I think there might be another heavy cruiser out there. Uh, so we still do have several capital ships to sink, and then the carrier will have all those planes that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, so still still a lot left to do when it comes to sinking the British Navy, guys. And then they have all those destroyers, too. Uh, and destroyers can sink our submarines and our destroyers. They can't really do much against our, our capital ships. Uh, but they can mess our planes up, and they can mess our, our destroyers up, and as well as our submarines. So they're still our threat. Uh, and then, of course, all these troops in the sea. I'd love to get them sunk in the sea, but I don't think that's going to happen, guys. I think a bunch, most of them probably land since we're not focusing on those. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Things are going very well. Uh, better than they did last time. Uh... Yeah, uh, definitely, certainly better uh, than, than it was last time. I'd say, like, where we're at right now, with the exception of the Navy, because I was pushed up a little bit further north by that point, as you'd expect, uh, but with the exception of the Navy being a little bit more progressed on their uh, objectives, uh, I would say with the, the land forces, like, we're, like, two turns, probably two turns ahead of where I was at last time. Uh, again, I kind of was, like, pushing it to the last turn to get this done. Uh, but, yeah, I would say we're, like, two turns ahead of where I was. Things are going very, very well. Uh, and again, a big part of that is like having the, uh, uh, you know, having the points to be able to put our troops up there. And in fact, we could even use our points if we wanted to. If we wanted to do like an airstrike or something on somebody, just for shits and giggles. Uh, you know, they don't do well against uh, ships. We could do it against like these guys here because they're all next to each other. Do a little bit of damage. I don't know if that'd be worth it though. Yeah, I really just don't feel like it'd be worth it. Uh, I could attack whatever's here. Uh, there's somebody there. Uh, so we could attack them there with the airstrike. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really think it's worth it. We'll probably just keep the points, guys, so we have a full 40 maximum points there. Uh, otherwise, if we use this, we'd have four left, plus the uh, 22 we get, we'd only be at 26 next turn. So I'd prefer to just uh, wait. Uh, so yeah, we'll just wait. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when the next episode comes out. And uh, we'll see you on that next video uh, later this week. And thanks for watching.